All right, greetings, ladies and gentlemen players. Welcome back, of course, once again to my board, where we are going over a game. You might recognize one of the names. Might recognize one of the names. Because she used to be the strongest uh, female professional in the world. That title has since fallen to uh, Choi Jong. But Rune Wei has a very large history to her. Um, bit of an older player. Went head to head with Lee Cheng Ho quite often back in the day. And did pretty well against him, which is a topic for another day. Suffice to say, I'm picking this game to go over because I think it is one, really, really easy to follow, and two, showcases... Ah, oh, let's see. What is it showcase? What is it showcase? Do I want to tell you what it showcases? I might as well. It show... Because the, right, the title's probably gonna reference it, maybe even the thumbnail, who knows. But it shows how to... I want to say attack for profit. Yeah, there's there's some really cool decisions here that Black is going to make against White's position. That's just going to be like, oh, so that's how you do that. And uh, yeah, so I wanted to pick it to go over today. It is a game that I think everyone will be able to follow along with. All right, so we've got Black. Opening up with a 4-4 point. Okay, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. And now here is something that is very, very unusual. We have white. Smashing that upper left 3-4 stone, but... But, 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 but... Where's, where's black gonna play? What's unusual here? Let's see how many... Let's see how long you all can follow this game. How long can y'all follow this game? What, what would be unusual right now for Black? Black's second move can be unusual. What is it? Attach? All right, that's, that's, uh, okay. I said unusual, not crazy. Again, Seminyun, we're going for unusual, not crazy. But yes, we're going into a cross opening. How fascinating. All the time, we typically see professionals take the upper left-hand corner inviting everything and everything, but rarely does black actually take white up on that offer because white has Comey. Well, what, what does that have to do with anything? Well, glad you asked, chat. White having Comey and playing a territorial game uh, is kind of beneficial to white. Black gets to go first, Black can tie the stones together. Black can begin building. You pay uh, points to white in order to have the ability to do this. Great. Fantastic. If we play cross, there is a distinct chance we are not going to be tying our stones together. We are not going to be building. So the payment to white becomes a little bit more severe. Just a hair more severe. So, okay. Cool, 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 cool. White smashes the open corner, obviously. Black plays low because we anticipate this game being a territorial game. And that's because you said it was diagonal. Exactly, chat. Exactly. If we played high, we would anticipate something like this. And then here, here into here, into, I don't know, something like this one, where black is going to try to build this area up, but it's going to be tough to do so because we're trying to expand off a corner and build, and this little guy has no say in it, really. So instead of that, we play here. Let's see what white wants to do. Uh, do you memorize these games? So... Sometimes, I have most of the game understood, but I do have the game up on my other monitor where I'm following along to make sure I have this move played at the right time. Because sometimes they play something before something else and the order might get messed up. You see me do that in videos occasionally where I've left off a move. You know, it happens. 
So, alright. White says... I'm going to fight you, and immediately I can respect White. White, a profession- where is it? Professional Fordon, facing off against a professional Nindon, and we're going to throw down against her right, imme right now. Okay, okay, okay. But, Black is a veteran player who is not going to be distracted by what she wants to do. She has beaten loads of nerds. So she's just going to follow up and be like, all right, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Was this a tournamental game? They are all tournament games, mostly. This one in particular, I do believe was played, um, what was it? Uh, the Chinese Women's League, right? Yeah. Chinese Women's League game. Wait, is it Women's League? No, it's not a tournament. It's just a bracket, I think. Yeah. Yeah, not a tournament game in and of itself. It's just a league game. Between two female pros. White responds, obviously, because if this stone turns black, then rip the corner and great extensions and it's like, ugh, don't don't want to ignore this one. Don't 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 ignore this one. Do pros ever really play casual games? Online they do. And probably amongst them uh themselves. Got the extend. Very passive move by White. It is solid, but note we're not getting into any kind of like pushing and then cutting variations. It's just an immediate settle sort of move. Uh, makes me wonder if it is liked by the AI. I kind of want to say it might not be. But, you know, it's solid. You can't really do much against it. So, okay. Okay. Regretfully, it is Sentena for Black. And we all know what Black's going to do, right? Right? We know what... We know what Black's going to do? We can all guess, can't we? Or can we not? Are we dumbfounded already? Pincer, why aren't we going to approach? Corner first? Um, you're getting there. So there's, essentially, if you want to look at it this way, and some people do, because they're robots, we have one good reason to approach the corner, which is to block the enclosure. Okay, great, sweet, love it, fantastic. However, we want to answer the approach. That gives us one reason to play here. We want to extend off of this. Gives us two reasons to play here. So we kind of have one reason to play here. We kind of have two reasons to play here. Though I'm going to I'm gonna make it um, a little bit easier to understand. Because you can argue this is also an extension. So now we have two to two. But extending from these, uh, extending from these stones kind of gives purpose to these. So it's kind of like plus one, plus one, plus one. So we make the three stones more useful while we're answering the approach and applying pressure. Just a lot of really good things going on here. That said, you probably could play here if you wanted to. It is not by any means a bad move, but it is creating complication because now it's going to be, ooh, who's getting Sente here? If, does White get Sente? Because if White gets to play, you know, back over in here or whatever, it's going to be really awkward on that. So what, is, what was the point of this area? And not this one. White approaches, uh, white pincer, or blah, 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 black pincers low. Cool. And now this I've never seen before. Y'all will have to tell me. If you've seen this before. I have not. Like from here, we expect, what, two space? We expect two space, right? And we expect maybe a Hane. Sometimes even the inside, so I haven't seen that in a pro game in, like, I don't know, since before Creakers was born. This one, on the other hand, is very, very unusual. Very unusual indeed. So, alright. Let's see what black, what, let's see what white tends to do about it. 
Light kicks. Okay, we anticipate the kick. Similar to this guy, you wouldn't go here, here, into here, right? Because you just lost the game. Now this corner doesn't live locally, and it has to run while that's building. Like it's just no, don't don't you don't do this. Very very classic mistake. That is just like game over, you know. So instead of that, we kick first. And then we come down. So, okay, okay, okay. So, wrapping our little noodles around that, we can understand the kick first here. And then we've got a little clamp. Now, I'm assuming this surely is not going to work, because if it works, what was the point of any of this? Like, why this move if the cornerstone dies? That would just be a flat-out mistake, okay? So that must mean we're going to save it. Because there is no there is no variation in this world where we accept our cornerstone dying for no reason. Okay. So the Atari. And drop down. And into the corner. And Atari. Now, it's similar to the variation that I just showed previously, with the exception of... Well... I mean... We don't have the two-space extension, but we have killed off a stone. So, I mean... That's a thing. And we've even lost some endgame. Like, we can't Hane here in endgame anymore. Otherwise, um, Atari, Connect, Extend, don't have a ladder anymore. That would be terrible. So we've lost Endgame there, too. This, this variation just feels really, really strange for Black. Like, Black settles, but I don't know. Perhaps Black will illuminate the situation further for us. Let us press on. This move is obvious. Now, I do want to highlight here, for those of you who might be DDQs, we're not playing here. Or even SDQs, we're not playing here. I see this a lot. It's like, ha 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 ha, my stupid opponent got some influence, but I will take it away. Like, what? Did you? Are you sure you did? Or did you just put a target on your back? Because you can be isolated here. You can be cut off from your corner, making yourself a weak group. And if you're a weak group, that gives Black the opportunity to use the influence. So, no, you smug moron. You actually just gave your opponent the chance they wanted to use their influence. So don't, don't get caught in this trap. Being greedy and, like, approaching the influence too closely. This, very, very nice. Gives a nod to whatever Black just did over here. Not giving the chance to attack. Very good. I like. I like a lot. Now we have decisions to make. Because this would actually be a big move. Moves over here would be a big move. A lot of big moves. A lot of big moves. Black decides to play a very, very simple, very, very calm move. We ask ourselves, where does white want to play next? White wants to play here. White wants to play here. White wants to play here. Maybe here, but probably not, because a double small knight is a problem. Okay. Okay. We can wrap our heads all around that. Just like we can wrap our heads around the gifted sub that Cosmic Camel gifted to God King Cthulhu. So, Black's next move is going to be with that in mind. Okay. This corner is now nicely surrounded. Very, very nicely surrounded. And the influence is growing. Because again, if we take a move over in here... It's going to be very, very tough to use this wall 
now that it is capped relatively safely. So we can wrap our heads around what's going on here. If we ever want to use that, we need to make sure that we're not really going to get all uh, capped. So cool. Easy to follow. Now, here's what you're never going to do or you're going to resign. This is something you will never ever do in your games as white. If you decide to take the one, two, three extra points and keep expanding Black's winning condition, then at the end of the game, you might just find out your opponent won the game. So yeah, we're not doing this. We're clearly not doing this. Absolutely not. But that does mean... That does mean what? We're going to cut. We can't allow our opponent to run us on second line. So that means we're cutting this position. Very easy to follow once we understand the uh, the alternative, right? Easy, easy, easy. So we're cutting. We're not giving away our stones. Getting into a little bit of a pinwheel shape. Big choice now. Don't get it wrong. Where's Black's next move? Don't get it wrong now. Don't get it wrong. If you're wrong... Cosmic Camel might never give you a sub in this chat ever again. So what are you going to do? I'm hearing base on top. Top to me is like this entire part of the board, so... Okay, we see K4. Is everyone agreeing with K4? Okay. Tengen, that's an interesting choice. D4. <sighs> uh... Okay, your option of D4 is very complicated. Uh, Delicious Dumpling, what's your rank? I think I know what you're going for there, but I want to make sure. What's your rank? Reveal yourself. Hmm. So what Delicious Dumpling wants to do is play here for the Hane on top of the board. That is a very, very aggressive thing that you might be able to do later. The only downside is what before you can do that, you're going to get leaned on in Sente, and then your opponent's probably just going to go back and fix this anyway. So we don't know if that's actually going to happen. That's kind of risk. That's pretty risk. Now, for those of you who said... K4, congratulations. This is pretty strong, as is. These two stones are the ones that don't want to be leaned on. Because then these can settle very, very easily. Right? So yeah, K4, all the way. Black's going to go pokey, pokey, poke. Now we can activate our trap card and demand a response out of our opponents. So I like that we notice that d4 is sente, but it wasn't urgent like this move was. Now that we have response there, Black can say, all right, I'm gonna have fifth line territory now. Just like many of you are saying, I've been gifted subs now. Pretty much the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. Gifted subs, fifth line territory, they're great no matter how you look at them. So White needs to figure out what to do here. And that is no easy feat. Here's what we're not going to do. Again, if you do this, then you are going to... If we do this, we are going to uh, not... Not have a good time. We're not going to lean here and just give our opponent one, two, three, four across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. 
We're at four by seven now. That's a lot. And keep in mind that can still continue to grow out this way too. Oof, we can't allow that to happen. So, black has to decide, or white has to come up with something completely different. Leans for shape. We're strong and airy, so we can hane. Eh? Cutting point activated. Nice, simple protect. And now we have shape. Now here, here is where I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised at this next move. I would be like, dude, this is really cool. I like it. I would play here. This would be my move. Nice and solid, taking the territory. You're never getting at this out of my cold, dead hands. This is mine. You could do nothing about it. Get wrecked. White has a, or black has a different opinion. Now, this was pretty strong shape already. There is a slight shape weak point, but it's not really going anywhere. After we defend, we've got good shape there. So the question is, is this important? Well, take a look. We do that one, we do that one, we do that one. Huh. Okay, what do you know? There is, in fact, a reason to play here first. We don't have a uh, life just yet, do we? Top of the board's not quite 100%. There is Aji in them hills, as they say. But white... White knows an area that's growing too big when she sees one. Says, I'm going to come on in right now. Uh, thank you. Sure enough. See the poke. Into lots of pain. Just as expected. But there is one caveat. Ordinarily, you would throw in and try to kill. We can't really do that yet, though. We can't really do that because we've got the throw in and this being sente. And we've also got this, which will be an Atari, into a cutting point of sadness. So a little bit too weak in the shape to, to dream of such things. A lot of reasons here can't really do it. So Black asks the question. Can you take away all of my weaknesses for me so I can kill you, Purdy, please? I'd like it a lot. Thanks. Because we've identified the problem, and now we're looking for a solution. We cannot kill our opponent, because there's too many uh, weaknesses hanging around our, our wall here. Because if we could, we would play here, right? And then no matter how you play this one... I mean, you, you just Hane and you're fine, right? Regretfully, because there's a throw-in, white has this one. So what we're looking at is this shape at best. At best, we can kind of go to Ko here. So now that we understand what's going on top of the board, let us continue. Uh, go ahead and cut that off, like so. Threaten to Atari through. Nice and solid. Offering to poke. And then last but not least, the defensive move. Now this into this is never going to work, which means that is Ko for life. 
something white is not happy with right now. So white throws in. Uh, oh, shoot, you're off the screen. Get on the screen there, sir. You're both off the screen, aren't you? There we go. Sorry about that. And there's the force that I mentioned previously, because we don't... We can't kill our opponent if our opponent can Atari us, connect, and then take all of our stones. That'd be very, very sad. Very, very sad indeed. But alright. So this is alive for now. But what does that mean for black? What does that mean for black? Surely B and this is going to be a code. It's going to result for B. Depends on what black's next move is there, Cypher. And I think the minute you see it, you'll be like, yeah, it's pretty good for black. Maybe like, yeah, that's, that's not bad. So where's black's next move? R10. Oh, side move. Interesting. Interesting. It's simpler than that. Thank you, seek you and creakers. There was only one. Only one option, right? We activated the cut point, fixed threatening to kill. Our opponent said, I don't want to die, but that means you didn't put the cutting point. Like I said, attacking for profit. Black here was looking for profit in the corner. Black poked because there were two weak groups on the board. One of them was defended. One of them left a weak point. Right? So we're seeing very, very simple uh, moves from black. When it's all said and done, very simple moves from black. The intention is staring you right in the face the entire time. Defend. Defend. Two weak groups yet again. Two weak groups yet again. So you can see why I picked this game. Because we can see Black being very, very aggressive. She's... She's not messing around. She knows there are large points on this board. But... She knows if you lift up your opponent's stones, you can also find territory there. So she's decided to see if there are stones that she can happily pick up off the board first. Because your opponent is not going to just like play here right now, right? And then just kind of allow, I don't know, that to happen. Like your opponent's not just going to annex that. Yeah? Like, okay, you can have that. And then you can attack me here, and you can attack me here. I'm going to get an extension that might be points later on. This is where the proverb urgent before big comes from. White stones are urgently being attacked, and they urgently need life. We'd love to play a biggie move, but that can only come if we settle what's urgent so we can take the big move. Right now, we cannot do such things. It's all right. Try and settle. I mentioned the follow-up here earlier. And Hane and uh, Hari. Now black. <laughs> black has white nicely paranoid. Black know or white knows if I connect right now. then we're going to get surrounded again, aren't we? Maybe even here? So white's like, I'm out of here. Do not surround me. Go away, fool. We do not want you here anymore. Trying to counterattack. I like the idea. I like the idea. We're trying to put the pressure back on the opponent. Very good, very good, very good. Also, Cosmic Camel, thanks for all the gifted subs today. Much appreciated. 
Um, whose turn is it? Uh, I want to say that it's blacks. No, it's whites. No, yeah, it is blacks. Right, we just played the Hane. And then do the clamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hane, clamp. Grab the extend. Taking is free. So go ahead and take. Hello, Zent 12. So go ahead and take like so. Connecting on up. Okay, okay. Now white is putting pressure on the bottom group. We can envision a move like uh, this one, for example, right? Asking question, is black alive on the bottom of the board right now? Maybe not. Maybe not. You know? But that's for later. Right now we're having this delightful conversation as to who owns this area of the board. Because this is now four, five, six, seventh line. Yikes. If you were going to try to save your uh, stones as white, where's your next play? It's an easy shape move. It's the only shape move, actually. G11, yes. The only way you're getting out of here is if you can lean on these stones to actually get out of there. Only way. Only way, only way, only way. And I love Black's response here. Like right now, I would be reading, okay, um, do I Hane? Can I, do I go here? Do I jump? Like, what do I do? I love Black's response because it's so, it's both solid. It's so solid, it looks like it's freaking slow. Just keeping the thing separated. Despite the fact that means that we might see a dead stones here. Like, I would never imagine. But, okay. Now that said, this doesn't exactly work if we were to see it. Because this would be the answer. So black would still get some. Like, you have to be very aware that this sort of thing doesn't work, right? There's nowhere to go. You block here, Atari, Atari down. Like, you have to be able to see I'm one liberty ahead in this fight, so I'm playing elsewhere. So that's, that's how tight this fight is being run right now. Um, I took away to one too many stones, didn't I? Yeah, this one, this one. There we go. So that's how tight this fight is. One liberty. If they don't have to respond to something, they're not freaking going to. Period. Done. End of story. Now, for those of you who aren't paying attention, there's also another thing that's going on right now. And that is the discussion of who owns this frigging corner? And who owns this frigging outside? A lot of things going on right now. But, that was Black's move, it's White's turn. And White says, I'm attack you. Trying to shift the conversation back onto Black Stones and not onto White Stones. Okay, you can see you can see the threat here. Drop down, kill black. So what does black do? Denied. Why that move? Because this is white's best move. And that too is a proverb. Your opponent's best move is often your own, or however that thing goes. So okay. Nice, lovely shapey point. Means black is follow up. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. <coughs> this too requires a little bit of reading. I'm usually in the habit of just playing here. But we can do the jump because clamp, connect, Hane, turn, and then suddenly these two stones only have two liberties. So we can't keep pressuring this group. Again, life by one liberty. So we come out. And bamboo. And come out. But these are already out, so that's a gote. Keeping this from connecting to here always puts a lot of pressure on this. And white does not want to play this move because it's gote. White does not want to play this move because it's gote. Black does. Black wants to play it, but we can't kill the corner because white has the Atari into the turn here for life. So if black takes it, it's to kill the outside because the corner will live. Um, these are Slate and Shell from, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kuroki Goishitan, I think it is. So white finally calls no joy. Goes back and lives. Like, I'm done with this. Very, very painful. Because that means we can Hane and force our opponent to be alive in that corner. The thing White really didn't want to do, but it was getting a little bit too crazy. Hane. Again. We're strong here. We're strong here. Therefore, we can double Hane. Please ask about the colors. Why? Tari. Connect. Extend. Now there's a little bit of danger to black because white's next move is going to be to surround this right hand this left hand group so now that this is firmly surrounded we make sure that we're nice and alive again we don't play the defensive move until we absolutely have to right putting pressure on three stones black's next move shows Ah, uh, I love Black's next move. Not gonna lie. I love Black's next move. I'm not even sure I would have played it. Where's Black's next move? These three stones are a little bit ugly. Sorry about that. Where's Black's next move? Oh, it's so good. It's K16. K16 is here. Uh, not a bad move. Not a bad move. Hane to descend. So much simpler. We've even said it repeatedly so far. We've even said it repeatedly so far. This needs another move to be alive. Right? So we don't have to Hane. Up here, we could. We don't have to extend down. This needs to prove it's not dead right now. So yeah, just cut. White gets to cut it, the turn in. Okay. Okay. Still gotta prove you're not dead. There we go. Now we've just proved it's not dead. But the turn did give Black an extra move in the middle. That's really great. That's really great for black. More strength in the center. There's so much happening with these unsettled stones that we'd love to get that move in. Mm. 
this move is amazing in how absolutely calm it is. It's like, hey, you, you're in trouble here. You're in trouble here. You're in trouble here. Just you, you tell me where you want to die. You tell me where you want to die. Where where do you where do you want it? Where do you want it? Where do you want it? White says, "I am not dying. You're dying." Okay, that'd be a big bottom side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be huge. This will be huge. But that is a distraction. This is a major scam. This move said calmly. There are two groups on this board, technically three, but shut up, that are in trouble. You just defended one of them. Does that mean I get this one? Does that mean this one's mine? White apparently doesn't like that, uh, that compromise. So we get to fight again. And we can see that black isn't really doing a lot that is super complicated. Keeping track of, hey, weak group, weak group. Keeping track of, hey, you need another move over in here to live. You owed me there. This move states, hey, you owe me here and here. Like, she's not trying to go after a lot of crazy stuff. She's not leaving a lot of cutting points behind. She's constantly looking after her shape. You know? So she's not she's not being crazy. She's not being crazy. White says, don't kill me. I bruise easily. Again, looking after that shape. Looking after that shape. Didn't even attempt to go throw in and do crazy things. Just took the profit. Defended the shape, and we're done. You know? We're done. That means we have Sente. Can go back and look after this little guy. Because now he's under attack, right? And there are still two groups that are under attack. So why do we have to go crazy trying to kill this? We got other things we're doing. Is it because black is... Or that, sorry, that white's taking too much territory? No, what is this? One, two, three, four, five? Psh, no points there. How about down here? One, two, three, four. No points there. So we don't have to go crazy. White's the one running around trying not to die this board. All black has to do, keep shape, turn out to get surrounded. We should be fine. So simple to follow. It, it looks, I... It looks like a teaching game. Reason why I picked this because it really does to me look. It, uh, it looks like a teaching game. She is just dunking on her opponent right now. It's just beautiful. So being pushed, we're extending. Being pushed. Okay. Keep this up. Why not? Turns always big. Still going with the push, 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 push. But now we have a wall facing a super larger than large knight. So obviously we ask the question. If small knights can be cut and large knights can be cut, can the larger than large knight can be cut? I would say so. I'm scared for black group. Nah, only... See, you'd be scared for the group only if you don't have a command of shape. Right? If you were going to... Let's say you did this. Let's say you did this. Let's say you did this. You're going to do this, this, and then... Um... This... This, and then you're going to do here. Into maybe here. Into here. Like, this way, yeah. This way, you're very, very scared for this group. Like, if this is all you got, because you're not paying attention to your opponent's shape, and you're terrified, and you're just trying to live, 
then yeah, you'd be you'd be frightened. You'd be very, very frightened for the group. Because you're giving away way too much. At this point, I mean, I don't know if I don't know if White would even care if you're alive or dead. Because White's just gonna go back and use the influence to attack you again. But shape is an issue. Shape is an issue. And so is taking all of these stones off the board. Ugh. You, 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 you two, and then you guys. And then we extended to what? This line? Was that the line? I think that was a line, right? Yeah. And then we decided to cut the larger than large knight. Wait, that can't be right. That isn't right. Here, here, okay. About to say, that looks weird. It's like, I, I see something kind of wrong on that one. Yeah, this was... No, White did not play this. So yeah, that's, that's the large knight. Didn't you realize that she opened with the classic 3-2? Didn't, didn't you know? Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> there we go, there we go. X Radio Star, thank you for Twitch Sub. So, alright, there we go. Since we recognize bad shape when we see it, then we're going to take the fight that's next to our strong area, which is these four stones, this is a really strong wall, and ask White, what's up? What's up? Because this is, this is a position you can't defend. Like, what do you do? Do you do this? Now what? Do you connect? Now what? Everything's gonna die. Your corner might die, the stones you're trying to save are about to die, like, everything's just dying. So we're not gonna play that way. Not gonna play that way. Which means we're playing this way. Which means we're playing this way. Therefore, black gets to play this way. Was able to do it because nice large wall was staring at a large knight and a larger than large knight. And large knight and larger than large knight. Oh, they can get cut to pieces. And even DDKs know this. Even DDKs know this. Right? We teach DDKs this. Careful of small knights, they can be cut. Careful of large knights, they can be cut even lar they can be cut even easier. That was a large knight. That means cuts are possible. That's even larger than that. So yeah, even more possible. See? You all know this. You all can do this. You all can do this. You all can do this. Now one thing you might not do, one thing you might not be comfortable with, is then playing here. <laughs> This is, sadly, where, again, uh, she flexes. Th this, admittedly, is where she flexes. Because she knows she's fine. Like, what, what's the opponent going to do? Like, the opponent's going to do what? This? Is that going to work? Really? Is that really going to work? Probably not, right? That cut is still going to be there, and then it's just going to kind of... So it's fine. So you're going gonna, you're gonna to lose a little bit here, but the bulk of this is still dead. So that's not really a problem, is it? Not right now, it's not. So we get to push again. White follows. Playing the Hane. Playing the Hane. Defending nicely. Same. And now we can go back and play here. Because before, little things like the turn made it worth, you know, doing doing that thing. Leaving that kind of behind his Aji. But, you know, turn's gone, that's strong, so boom, also strong. 
Now, white is in a bad way, but white has some influence and a group that can uh, assault. So the question is, can black handle the attack here? Can you handle the attack here? What's it going to be? Where's next move? Again, it's a question of shape. Get this right and you're fine. You're absolutely fine. What's black going to do for the shape? Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Oh, nine. Not quite. Tiger mouth? Tiger mouth what? You want to play here? Seems weird. Oh, good old Semenyon. Yeah. Those two stones only have uh, four liberties to them right now. If it tries to push through this, it's going to be dropped down to two. Does this group have more than two liberties? Then we're fine. So, okay. Atari. Connect. We can't cut through. So we're not going to try. It's going to surround. Because you can see... White wanted to be the one to attack black, but as long as we take command of those two stones, black's not the one under attack right now, huh? Black's not the one under attack right now. Black's the one doing the attacking. Because these stones are stronger than whites right now. So, okay. This is now white's turn to prove that she's not dead. And we're just going to follow, follow, follow. Going for very solid shape here. And connect. And white move, drop down. Okay, now we have a fair number of liberties and the cut is protected. Which means this is in trouble. So now we defend. And this is white's time to shine. Punch shape. Punch shape. Uh-oh, getting kinda heavy. Getting kinda heavy. So much, yeah, so much territory. The only chance right now yeah, the only chance white has right now is a kill. White has to kill. This group here has got to die. That's that's white's only hope. Because you're right. This is this is a lot. This is a lot. Uh, this is respectable. That's not. This isn't. Neither is that. And that's that's okay. That's okay. But okay isn't gonna cut it with. All the rest of this stuff. So, don't need to connect those two stones. I'm gonna threaten to cut. Which I should have asked for you guys to weigh in on, by the way. I'm sorry, that should have been a question for y'all. Uh, I will do the next one for you, though. Where's Black's next move? We can all find it, right? This is, this is a good problem. Black to uh, not die and lose the game. So, next move for black is where? There's probably two good answers here. If you get, the, if you get one of them, L12. I figured, you'd, I figured you'd go for that one, Semenyun, yeah. Not the one, but you're close. Not, you're, sorry, you're not close at all. But it is Sente. Yeah, you're right. It is Sente, but no. O oh, ten nah. S four nah. Ooh, whoa, we're we're blanking on this one. 
Ooh, so easy. So easy, you'll kick yourself when you see it. So easy, you'll kick yourself when you see it. Hmm. Begin getting more shape in Sentai. Right? R10. Threaten to go under. Easiest way to live. Just connect, right? Easiest way to live. Just starting to connect. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you? I missed... Sorry. Did you say it? You said R10? Who said R10? Got a little bit wrong. Okay. I legit don't have you saying anything. Oh, you said Q. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, gods did say it. Sorry, gods. Sorry, gods. You did say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, great. That's Sente AF. That is certainly Sente AF. And now, this next move, I would not be able to play. I would not be able to play this next move. I would not be able to look at this position and go, you know what? You know what I think this position needs? Uh, that, apparently. Like, I could see this one, like, here into here. I could see that for an eye. But in the midst of this, she's like, you know what? What if we just try to kill our opponent? It's like, okay. And White's just like, um, are you crazy? I'm trying to stab you, lady. And then Black's like, why did you just call me lady? You're a lady too. Ah, dang it. It's okay. We got, we got some nice forcing moves here. Nice forcing moves here. Let's try it again. This time for the entire game. Where's next move? Like, we're gonna live in next move. We're absolutely living next move. Next move, we're 100% alive. 100% alive. 100%. Alive. Gotta be O10 this time. <laughs> Even easier. Even easier. If I, if I tell you what, I'll give you a hint. If I asked, um, a 20Q. Wow, these things are really off, aren't they? Ugh, four position always looks so weird. Um, where the next, where the uh, next eye coming from? They'd get it. They'd get it. There, poke that out. There, poke that out. Can't quite do it, can you? Now you might be saying, how is this it is Sente, but here's the thing that you have to understand. This is Sente. You are tr you are right. You are right. But here is one problem. So is this. So is this. So this has a great follow-up that I mean you just can't you just can't kill that. You're you're not gonna you're not gonna be killing anything. And it gets worse. Here, here's a question for y'all, chat. Here's a question for y'all. Where where are the eyes? Where are the eyes? Where are the eyes in this group? Do you see them? Because, let me tell you, white, get them off the board, white, uh, white begins to notice, white begins to notice, black makes sure 100% life, but, yeah, we need to live. 
We need to make our two eyes. Plug play here. Connect up. Hane looking for life. Black's playing nice and calmly. Until that. Admittedly, until that. I, I would be nervous now. I still see this poke here. And a clean disconnect here. But okay. You might say, this is when white's going to go crazy and kill everything, right? This is when that's going to happen. Doesn't care. Doesn't have to, doesn't have to do anything. She's already, she's already ahead by just leaps and bounds. Couldn't care less. Oops, sorry, hit the thing. Drops down. Atari. Connect. Turns. Tries to do a poke. Denied. Connect. Threatens the Hane. Ah. Threatens the Hane. Pushes. Going for more. Always going for more. That right there. Oh, I, I, I would not be able to play that move. I would be playing the Hane. But white doesn't even care. White doesn't care. It's like, I'm ahead. I, there's no reason to even entertain the thought that you can die. I'm just going to keep going to endgame now. Because honestly, what are you going to do? Honestly, what are you going to do? Okay. Weird endgame there, but sure. Looks like maybe Black got a little bit lazy on that one. This one's definitely larger, though. Hane. And now we're continuing to poke. This is White's largest corner of territory, remember? And look at what it's shrinking to. Look at what that thing just shrunk to. Need another move? Atari. And connect. Oh, sorry. Nope, not connect. Huh. I missed that one in the game. I guess it's okay. Yeah, I mean, might have move later there, I suppose. Um, and then poke. Go ahead and take that. Now we go ahead and connect. Get them to not be dead. And then last but not least, last move of game. Make sure there's no Aji here ever again. And White resigns. You mean B? Probably did. Probably did. Not sure when that came up, sorry. But yeah, all done. White's like, you know what? I think, uh, I think you've had enough. I'll, I'll leave this game. I think, uh, I think, I think, I think I've done enough to you. So yeah, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And we saw how Black just kind of kept going. A little bit of poke, 
Are you really live here? A little bit of a cut? Are you really live here? But didn't really over-invest in trying to kill any one group. Like, this was allowed to live. Never even threw in for a co. This, we had one poke, but that's it. This, again, didn't even try and disconnect it. Just like, yeah, we're fine here. We got our profit there. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. And to recognize it, all we needed to see was we had a large knight connected to something very, very large while it was trying to kill us. So this was more self-defense than anything. This was just like, look, get off me. You can't, you can't fight this. You just can't fight this. So, yeah. Ah, oh, I like the game. I are fan.